This project is on crop protection using transgenic plants that complement deconstructed insect-transmitted viral vectors. The goal of this work is to mitigate stress response in crops for the purpose of yielding food during unfavorable environmental conditions. For example, when a drought occurs, the crops can overreact because they can't predict the weather and therefore respond by investing their resources in survival instead of in the edible parts of plants and vegetables. Uh, as a result, the yields would be lower than if there was actually a controlled response. This overreaction then can be mitigated so that the plants will continue to invest the energy and resources into the fruits and vegetables. This will be accomplished using begumaviruses, white flies, and tomato plants to model this concept of helping crops to survive and bear uh, fruits and vegetables during environmental stress. This is our proof of concept. The first step is to uh, generate transgenic plants by taking the coke protein from the virus and then moving that coke protein into a plant and making a transgenic plant, therefore, that is expressing the virus coke protein. The green fluorescent protein replaces that, so we now have a virus that has green fluorescent protein and the plant has the coke protein. We then inoculate the transgenic tomato with that virus, which can be done either by injection or by infiltration. And under these circumstances now, the, the uh, co-protein will allow the, the, that to amplify. The white flies will inoculate and take that gene from the acquisition plant. And they can now deliver it to the target plant that would be in the field. And deliver to that then the actual, in this case, green fluorescent protein, which you can see in that micrograph is an actual image of the green fluorescent protein after the insects have fed on the plant. The next step in this process then is to replace that green fluorescent protein with a protective gene. That plant protective gene then will be used to assist the plants in, the, in this particular case in response to drought. So at this point, the protective gene then can be delivered to the field under conditions that would be appropriate based on weather predictions to prevent an overreaction and therefore improve the productivity of fruits.